lovelies, I am back home in the beautiful Cape Town after an amazing time in Australia. Um, so this vlog, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about my PhD because subsequent to my conference that I attended in Australia, I'm completely changing track. So what I was focusing on was the movements of stingrays and that is what I attended the conference for, but now I'm moving on to looking at what my stingrays are eating. So before I change track, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about what I was doing and um, the type of data I was working with. How do we track stingrays? How do we know where they move? Why is it important? And I also generally want to talk about a PhD. Why does a PhD take so long? What is involved in the process, etc. So welcome to the PhD chat vlog. But don't worry, this vlog's not going to only be C for serious boring stuff. I will show you other cool things that I do. And currently I am on my way to my mother dear for some lovely dinner. And I thought I'd show you this beautiful sunset that's happening in front of me. Just in time to catch the last little bit of colour in the sky. Look at this view. sunset stop and enjoy the sunset so today is a Tuesday tea break with Telly talking about telemetry and that my friends is how you do a cheesy intro but on a serious note, today we are talking about a technique called acoustic telemetry. So one, as I mentioned earlier on, one of the big parts of my thesis is figuring out how my stingrays move, where they live, etc. And we use acoustic telemetry to accomplish this. And for this method, you need two pretty basic pieces of equipment actually. So you need something called an acoustic receiver, which is a piece of equipment that picks up acoustic signals in the underwater environment. And secondly, you need an acoustic transmitter, or for short, a tag, that transmits or releases these acoustic signals. And so what you do is you take your animal of interest, for me it was stingrays, and you somehow attach your acoustic transmitter or your tag to your animal. So for us we surgically implanted the little tags into the abdomens of the stingrays and now the stingray effectively becomes like a DJ because every couple of seconds he's emitting an acoustic signal, um, an acoustic noise, and every time he swims within range of a receiver he is picked up and we know that he or she was swimming past the receivers and this is really useful information if you have a closed area like for me I work in an atoll and so it's nice to know within the atoll where the stingrays spend most of the time do they eventually leave the atoll or do they hang out there all the time um, as I mentioned in one of my vlogs on Australia stingrays really really like shallow sandy waters um, because they can escape predators but sometimes they do leave the safety of the shallows and we want to try and figure out why um, and so this is a really, really useful technique in doing that. So what has my work week looked like? Um, well, thankfully I had a little bit of a break from data analyzing and stats and R and coding and all that. Last week I spent quite a lot of time reading papers uh, because I am now back into data analysis, back into coding, but as I said I've switched and I'm focusing on my diet data, so I just needed to go through literature and see what is the most recent common used techniques that people use to analyze the data. So I have a whole bunch of 
papers over here that I went through and on the back I summarized, oh, not that one, I summarized all the different techniques that they used so that I could come back into it and know exactly how to analyze my data and that is what I have been doing this week. Although I must say it's been going really, really well. The, the difference with my dye data that I have at the moment and my telemetry data that I was working with, with your telemetry data, you have a huge amount of data. You know, I think at the end I was dealing with over 600,000 data points. So it took a long time. I spent six months and I'm still not finished analyzing that data. But now I'm moving on to my stable isotope data and I have only 180 data points. And also there are some great packages out there associated with R that have really useful user manuals so you know exactly how to set up your data, exactly how to put it in. So this week has been actually a very productive week and I've done a lot of analyses. I've figured out quite a lot from my data. I'll probably, probably be done with this by the end of next week. So that would be really, really great because then I could actually start writing my thesis. I've been busy with my PhD for over a year and a half now and I still haven't started writing my thesis. So that's definitely needs to start happening now. Um, and yeah, this is why doing a PhD takes so long because there are so many different steps that you need to do from doing your literature review, from going out into the field and collecting your data, from doing your data analysis, and then finally to your final write-up. Each step has its own ups and downs. Each step ha takes quite a long time. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're writing a book. And if you think about how long George R. R. Martin has taken to release the next Game of Thrones books, you'll understand that writing this book is difficult. But I find it highly fulfilling and I'm really enjoying the process so far even though there are quite a few downs. But um, yeah, that's what my week is consisting of this week, really. As I said, just back into data analysis, back into coding. And over here, I'll show you, I've written all these wonderful lines of code, which have been super easy. And then over here, I've produced some really, really pretty graphs and some really lots of good numbers. And over here, you can see, look how pretty that graph is. And that took me like, I don't know, maybe an hour to figure out. So I'm really, really impressed with the whole, um, this, it's actually um, my stable isotope data for those who know what stable isotopes are. I'll probably do a video later on. But yeah, trying to do work with your stable isotope data in R, fantastic. Well, it's proving to be rather difficult to concentrate today because A, it's a Friday and it's always difficult to concentrate on a Friday. And B, we have got our tree fillers here, cutting down the palm right next to my desk. So as home was no longer viable option to concentrate. I have come to a beautiful little restaurant just on the beach. It's actually the first really nice weather day of the week that we've had. So I've decided to come and spend a bit of time outdoors, do some work and yeah, enjoy the sunshine. Look at my view. to convince my mother and sister and I to have delicious lunch. This is my sister. Hello. Hello. And this is my mother dear. Hello. <laughs> oh, there you and put the glasses off. There you go. <laughs> cool. And we're having some delicious fish and chips and my sister's having some yummy chicken pie. needed after this week of indoors and now it is time for the weekend baby so today I'm all 
dressed up to my nines because it is a Saturday and we are attending a wedding of some really really close friends of ours and this is generally how weddings in Cape Town go down it's big wine country we have a lot of beautiful wine farms so generally people have their weddings at wine farms and it's beautiful we have a beautiful outdoor area over here that people are enjoying there's lots of games lots of free booze lots of good food so yeah it's turning out to be a fabulous afternoon So after a lovely wedding last night, we spent the night in Stellenbosch, which is wine country that I was talking about yesterday. And it's turned out to be another beautiful morning. So we've come to one of my favorite places. Um, it is a wine farm, but it also has these really, really beautiful gardens that you can walk through. We've got some donkeys here and it's just a really lovely day out. So we've come to a place called Babylon Storen and we'll spend the morning here. And that's gonna be it for my weekend and that's it for my week so good work week fun weekend and with that I'll wrap up this vlog see you next time